Yeah, I got a sunburn. It's not the camera that makes me look red. I'm I'm just a lobster. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Today I wanted to talk about something uh, near and dear to my heart um, due to a game that's come out of this. I want to talk about MUDs. And no, I don't mean like let's go play in the dirt or go get a mud bath, which I, don't know, I might need. That might actually help my lobster face. Uh, I'm talking about multi-user dungeons, which is an early form of multiplayer computer game. The first MUDs were generally text only, and they were really only played on university computers, as home computers weren't a huge thing yet, nor did they have linkage to more than one computer, as the internet hadn't been invented. LAN was a thing, but most of these games were played from university to university, not at home, at least at the get-go. Some of these early university startup ones include games like Adventure, Colossal Cave Adventure, and Zork. MUDs did quickly evolve, though, getting into the home computer market, of course, but also evolved into different styles. So, n not just a text adventure, but PvP, role-playing, social, and multiple other types of uh, MUDs started to come into the forefront as they got more and more popular. Most of these were still text-based, but eventually, graphical MUDs came out. Now, these were games like uh, uh, Shadow of Yzerbus, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Habitat. These graphical MUDs especially became wildly popular over time, and eventually turned into what we know as MMOs. For example, the game Devious Mud, which was never technically released, eventually became what we know as RuneScape today. Other MMOs with MUD origins are EverQuest, Ultima Online, and the Camelot MMO, along with hundreds of others that are small time or I just don't have time to name. A lot of people talk about the origins of their favorite video game genres when they talk about their favorite vintage video games in that genre. For example, if you tune into a video about Doom or Wolfenstein, you'll generally hear people talking about how they're the inventors of the FPS, or how Dota invented the MOBA before it even became really popular, or even stuff like the Sword Quest series for Atari, birthing the modern fantasy uh, adventure-style role-playing games like Final Fantasy. But MMOs rarely seem to get the nod. So for all you MMO fans out there, you can thank MUDs for all of your favorite titles.